everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about preparing successful applications under the Violence Against Women Act. My name is Ruby Powers. I'm a board certified immigration attorney in tech, Houston, Texas. I'm one of 180 or so board certified immigration attorneys in Texas. I've been practicing for 14 years and have had my own firm, Powers Law Group, for 13 years. I also wrote a book called Build and Manage Your Successful Immigration Law Practice Without Losing Your Mind for the American Immigration Lawyers Association. I uh, ran my law firm from Dubai about a decade ago and have been a strong advocate for immigrants' rights. So let's go ahead and dive in. Today, we're going to be talking about a very sensitive subject, and it is um, you really have to be trauma informed. You really have to. Um, be sensitive um, to the nature of your work. Uh, you also need to train your staff accordingly. This is not for everyone to do. And um, some people just choose not to do these types of petitions. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to learn today. Um, I would also like to mention, I think this is a great beginner, but it also could be a great intermediary uh, level course where I'll put in um, little snippets of experience as well as also um, best practices. So I think this can be a great um, program for a multitude of practitioners or those who are, are getting started in immigration or who've been in it for a while but maybe haven't done a lot of VAWA applications. So look, first, we're going to identify the basic qualifications of a VAWA petitioner, including eligibility for the driven applicants. Then we're going to discuss the necessary documentation to successfully prove the required elements, including tips um, on how to obtain the difficult documents and documentation. Um, <clears throat> we're also going to talk about this, the standard process for VAWA application, when to apply for adjustment of status concurrently, or when to do them separately, and also the ideal screening process for attorneys to perform during the potential consults and special considerations when working with applicants. And then finally, we're going to talk about cancellation of removal and immigration court, VAWA cancellation removal, and also the potential form of relief of VAWA in immigration proceedings. And at the time of this recording, the Doyle memo has been into effect for a month and we're seeing a lot of terminations in court. So we'll talk about that as well. So what is VAWA and the, what is it? Um, well, it's the, the Violence Against Women Act. It, as a battered spouse, child, or parent, you may file an immigrant visa petition under the Immigration and Nationality Act. And the provisions in the INA allow certain spouses, children, and parents of U.S. citizens, as well as certain spouses and children of permanent residents to file a petition for themselves. So it's self-petitioning. Uh, without the abuser's knowledge, this allows the victims to seek both safety and independence from their abuser who's not notified about the filing whatsoever. This is a concern of a lot of applicants um, who are afraid that their, their former spouse or that, that, um, that, that child or that parent or, will find out about this, uh, but they won't, not from USCIS. And this, as this provides um, applications um, for both men and women trans individuals, this is um, by, by, uh, binary, um, this is not specific to one particular gender. It's a misnomer that it says women act, but it is for to um, all individuals who meet the qualifications. And just for a little history lesson that I brushed up uh, for this presentation is that the um, VAWA is only um, from 1994. And so in the nearly three decades, um, they have been, um, our, our leaders have been working um, to renew and strengthen Avala um, three times. First, it was in 2000, 2005, and then 2013. And then each time, um, President Biden worked to expand access to safety and support for all the survivors and increase prevention efforts. There was a uh, reauthorization Avawa strengthens um, a landmark law in 2022 to, to, to bolster um, the provisions of Vawa on lots of different aspects. Um, and so this is something that comes up on a regular basis where they're trying to 
uh, and strengthen VAWA and its um, and its reach. Um, and they're just preventing and responding to gender-based violence whenever it occurs. And um, and and so this is um, wonderful that it exists, and and I. I'm grateful that they continue to to strengthen this.